Welcome back, everybody. You're watching Sport Federation TV. Nice to have you with us. Of course, every week we take a look at what's happening with sport in the Western Cape. For those of you that are, have been watching, you'll know that sport in the province has been extremely active, and we've got all the various sport codes in the province that are affiliated to SASCOC, all our structures while well, doing really well. Um, uh, and uh, our athletes are coming through the ranks, our coaches are coming through the ranks. And of course, we're heading now towards uh, the festive season. And lots of sport codes carry on doing sport. They may be not competing as much from a provincial level or a national level, but sport, at least one can say, does not stop. It still uh, remains a very social, active um, uh, structure. Right. For those of you that have, uh, well, you might have watched the show before when we've spoken about Yekske. But now Yekske is back in studio with me. And from Western Cape, Yekske, I've got Dirk Britz. Dirk. Um, Thanks for joining us. Nice to have you back. Thank you very much. Yeah, much so appreciated. I know that we've done interviews with you online. In fact, one of the videos that we've got online is A Day in the Life of Yekske. Yes. And I think it's got more, more viewers than any other video. Um, how are things going with Yekske? Excellent. Um, as you can see today, I'm not dressed in, You're in uh, your my... District yeah. colors or my uh, national colors. I'm dressed in the EXCO as one of the EXCO members of the international EXCO. Yes, yeah, yeah. So um, that's just to show we not only uh, locally uh, set up. Yeah, yeah. We spread our wings and we now have countries like Basque, USA, Hawaii. Um, in Africa, it's uh, Uganda, uh, Rwanda, uh, Burundi. All those countries is presently uh, busy with Yekske and, and, and to um, develop Yekske in the country so that they can play against each other. And like uh, Uganda, foresee in the future with their assistance with one of the South African businessmen, to have a international uh, festive in Uganda, although they're not on par yet yeah. or by yeah, yeah. within the next four years, but they would like to, to get all the international players uh, and countries to play against each other in Uganda. So I've got to ask you this. I want to I just go back a step here because... Uh, Yekske is actually, um, am I right in saying that Yekske is actually one of the indigenous sport codes in South Africa? Uh, correct. And it, it originated in South Africa? Uh, especially in Western Cape. Right. And, and, the, and, and I'm taking my lessons now from you that you've given me before, that the, what you call the yuk. Yes. The actual, what we see you throwing, uh, it's referred to as the yuk, and that comes from the, um, from the, the oxen that was traveling, right? Have I got my... 100%. Okay, sorry. so now I'm wondering if you are doing international participation and you've got it in uh, the United States and you've got it in Basque and you've got it in Uganda and all of these other countries, they've adopted then a South African code. Yes, yeah. yes. Like all other sport codes, it's international at this stage. At some point they start at, at the, at the, uh, at the roots. The, at the roots. Yeah. Wherever yeah. it is. Yeah. So, yeah. And then it proceeds through the, through the ranks. Uh, the, the, the worst part for us is that Yekske don't get that sponsorships that you would like to see, like uh, soccer or rugby or netball or, and bowls. Well, maybe after this TV show, you'll have a lot of... No yes, we, we, <laughs> we uh, and if I say we, then I'm talking about Western Cape. Yeah. Um, we said to Yaxi South Africa during the last uh, IGM in, in July that we would like to host uh, a provincial uh, games here in Western Cape. Yeah. And for that, we're looking for accommodation and also a big enough hangar or something like that that we can play it indoors. Fantastic. Yeah. So then we can uh, say come during that and that period and, and do it on a yearly basis. Invite people from around the country to come and 
enjoy the Western yeah, Cape. Yeah, at least yeah. at least two teams per province. That will mean a men's and a women team, which is which will be the their best players. How many players have you got on a team? Okay, let's start off to nationals. To the nationals, we normally send a two women team. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 I and a B. Uh, men's two, A and a B, and then above 50. Right. A and B, men's. Yeah. Uh, not for the women. Because in all sport cars, we have less women than, than men. But when you're but playing, patterns. when you're playing, yeah. And, then, and then these nine provinces yeah. then play against each other uh, over five days. Uh, which includes your trials, which includes the test normally against Namibia. Right. And every fourth year, the uh, USA is sending a team to us, but that's a mixed team. Right. And when we going over to them, we also send a mixed team, depending on who's, who mm. do have the money or sponsorship to go with those people we sent for uh, that purpose. And when are, you, when, when are you guys, from a competitive point of view, we, we're now sort of heading towards the end of the year. Do you guys have any competition? Do the guys do this socially then during December? Um, yes, yeah? yes, yes. We actually end off tomorrow with uh, our district playoffs. We have, out of the six districts in, in the Western Cape, we play in five of them. Right. Yeah, okay, we have five districts that uh, they have a district federations. Yeah, yeah. Out of the six, but we play in all six district championships. And, and where is your district championships? Tomorrow. This weekend, yeah. The, tomorrow is in Sunbai. In Sunbai, okay. Yes. Yeah. And have you got an have you got an idea who's going to be the top competitors there? Is it? Uh, do we think it's going to be Cape Town or is it going to be... Uh, in, the, in the men's, the, 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 there we're going with mixed teams. Yeah. We uh, 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 select the best four, 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 four. So we're sending seven teams, no, five teams for tomorrow, yeah. five teams. The top one at this stage, which is the best, team also mix is 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 uh, uh, Cape Winelands. So Cape Winelands are a very strong outfit. Yeah, they yeah. they they. <laughs> but the moment we go into nationals, then you have to break down. And for the past two years, our men's uh, A team yeah. won the SA nationals. The right. past two years. Right, right, right. And uh, so next year on on uh, March. Uh, Hopefully, we'll have the same four men still available, and they're playing excellent YXK, and then um, hopefully they will get it for the third year. So for the folks that want to, I mean, if, if to, with Sant by tomorrow, is it open to the public? Can they come and watch? Yes, yes, yeah? definitely, definitely, yeah. no problem. So it's also... It's also all, always open for everybody to come and have a look. So there's quite a lot of work that goes behind, on behind the yes, scenes, yeah. Yes. Dirk, let's leave it at that. It's great um, to see that Yuxka is so active, clearly very successful, growing on an international level. I mean, that's exactly what we're looking for from sport in South Africa. Obviously, our Western Cape athletes are doing really well. South Africa is clearly the, the root organization, so we'll probably be dominating for a while, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, congratulations on all the fantastic work you guys are doing. And uh, I'm sure that this weekend is going to be a massive success. Thank you very much. No, definitely. Definitely yeah. it's going to be. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. There we go, folks. Dirk Brits uh, from um, not only Western Cape Yuxke, South Africa Yuxke, and of course Yuxke growing on an international basis. That's fantastic. Uh, make sure that you find a club near you. And in fact, this weekend, get down to Sunbuy and watch a little Yuxke. We'll see you after the break. Don't go away.